the most frequent questions patients are asking to me every day, what is my donor capacity? How many grafts do I need for a good coverage? And uh, the interesting part, uh, every clinic, every doctor is giving a different answer. Uh, coverage is related by four components and the major, we have two major components, uh, the number of the hair and the thickness, the caliber of the hair. Uh, minor components that we cannot control, structure of the hair, wavy, curly and straight, and the color contrast between the hair and the skin. Coverage value is the mathematical way to calculate the coverage. Uh, by using the caliber of the hair and the number of hairs per square centimeter. What we are doing, we are simply multiplying uh, the number of the hair uh, with the thickness caliber of the hair in millimeter and we are finding a number. And we call that coverage value. Uh, I just want to share how I use this in my daily practice. The first step in the morning, we are taking identical photos of the patient. Um, I need same light, same direction and same angle and that's the reason I use key photo for the photos. Before shaving the hair, I need samples from different parts of the donor area and by using micrometer, uh, I'm calculating the caliber of different parts. After shaving his hair, I am determining the donor area and calculated each area in centimeter square, temporal, uh, parietal, and occipital parts. I use uh, macro photos by using damn light and uh, using these photos in an application uh, hair counter. By using hair counter, we are counting each hair and the calculated density of the hair. So it will be possible for me to calculate the coverage value of different parts. According to coverage value calculation system, I made the operation plan. And here you can see uh, from the right temporal area, we are planning uh, 250 grafts with estimated 1.9 hair per graft. Uh, also, another assistant is focusing on the left parietal area, which is 40 cm square area, and we are planning 750 from that part with the average of 2.0 hair. To control hair per graft averages, another team is focusing on extracted grafts. Uh, by using biomicroscopic system, they are separating single, double, triple grafts. Two, one, two, and three, by using four. an application a graft calculator, uh, we are reflecting on the screen, so also the patient has a chance to follow his surgery, how many grafts extracted, how many grafts left, what is his hair per graft average from that area, and also during the Istanbul workshop I will do the same thing. Uh, you have a chance to follow all the surgeon's extraction performance, uh, the graft quality, miniaturization rate, telogen rate, transaction rate. Also, patients uh, feel more confident when they follow the surgery by using this system. In the last five years time, I operated 3,153 patients from 68 different countries. I had a chance to publish average coverage value of these all worldwide patients. The highest coverage values are coming from Indian patients and the lowest coverage values are mostly from Scandinavian patients. Calculation is the most important thing for donor harvesting plan because if you have a coverage value around 7, you can maximum extract 15% of hair ratio. But if it is around 20, which is very rare, you have a chance to extract 70% of hair ratio. So calculation is the most important thing for harvesting plan. I have some difficulties in my calculation system. First of all, you can take only few samples from the donor area. You can maximum cut 10, 15 hairs and you can measure it. And even you can measure it in a correct way. It's not representing all the donor area because numbers are changing from up to down, right to left. Another problem, hair is not round. It has an elliptical index. It was published by British Journal of Dermatology in 1997. Different races also has different elliptical index. East Asians has uh, more round hairs, but Africans has higher elliptical indexes.
When we are trying to measure hair caliber, we are using micrometers. Uh, micrometers mostly measure the short axis of the hair. And if you have a chance to turn around, you will see that you will get different numbers. And another problem is the compression of micrometer is pressing and compression of the hair shaft. And mostly we are getting lower numbers of the reality. We made a study with Dr. Art Bayramoğlu. We randomly choose three different patients and take samples from their donor areas, temporal parietal occipital. And from every part of the donor area, from superior, mid and inferior parts, we take 10 hair samples. We measure them by using micrometer and we send all these samples to the university for electron microscopy scanning. This is the electron microscopy laboratory of Ajibadim University. And as you see, this is the equipment we used here. And we got the hair samples from Azmet Clinic uh, from three patients, from Dr. Koray Erdogan. We got these hair samples. These 270 hair samples, actually, we placed them, each of them, on these stages. And there are two important things here. One of them is we placed them vertically for the correct measurements and also uh, we measure their proximal part. That means closer to the skin. And we got the short and long axis measurements from there. When we got electron microscopic images, we realized that there are many variations. Even from the same part of the donor area, we see many different calibers and different hair elliptical indexes. We scan all these patients also by using keyboard, and we found a correlation between the long axis and keyboard results. This is my solution, keyboard, robotic scanning system. We are evaluating patients in uh, two steps. First, before the operation evaluation and after the surgery. Before the operation, what keyboard is doing? First of all, calculating the donor area, how many centimeters square, and counting the number of the follicles from each area. Counting the number of the hairs, giving us the average caliber of hair from different areas. After surgery, Keyboard is scanning first the donor area, how many holes we created in the donor area, and then checking the recipient area, how many grafts we transplanted, and what's the density of the recipient area that we transplanted. Keybot is a vision and artificial intelligence-based robotic system. It has two camera systems on it. The first camera system allows us to capture 3D model of the hat. The second camera system has a very high resolution sensor and it allows us to capture the head images at 5 micron resolution. We capture each and every follicle in the head and we analyze each hair in each follicle so that we are able to determine the exact thickness of each hair in the head. We performed a series of anonymized studies in this clinic and the initial studies have showed us that there is large patient-to-patient -patient variation. That was the one thing it showed. And the next thing it showed was that the commonly used tool, which is the micrometer, is only correlated with the short axis of the air. So this led us to design the next set of experiments, which where we had a one-to-one -one matching between the robotic measurement and the scanning electron microscope measurement. Now, these studies have showed us this time, robotic measurement was able to capture the long axis which is clinically much more valid and will uh, form a basis for the clinical applications. As a next step, we are uh, planning to design studies where we will look at the clinical outcomes, both from the patient perspective and the physician perspective, and then try to correlate these measurements with also these clinical outcomes. Uh, this is Keyboard Mobile. Uh, it's an application for smartphones. And, you know, we know that the caliber and the density is changing in different parts of the donor area and it's not easy to make it manually in every area. So this application will help you for that. I will show you how it works. Keyboard and login and hair analyze. You choose hair analyze. For example, we are choosing an area, left temporal area, I am touching it. And then focusing on left temporal area. 
taking a photo, used the photo, and sent. I'm sending to the server. This is the same server uh, with the keyboard. So it's analyzing now, and now it's sending me the results. You can see here. So it's now, now I got the analysis. You can see here from the left temporal area, I got follicular unit number, calculated density, caliber, uh, estimated coverage value from that area. So you can use it many times from upside, downside, so you can get easily an average. In this last study, we frame a certain area and we marked each follicle and hairs from that area. We cut this hair and sent to electron microscopy laboratory and also we scan the same area by using keyboard and keyboard mobile. According to our results, we statistically find significant high correlation between electron microscopy, keyboard and keyboard mobile results. Now I feel more confident for the future of FUE. In the last two months, I score telogen rate, miniaturization rate, and translation rate uh, of the graphs we extracted. So we are also updating a graph calculator. So in a short, very short period of time, you will see translation rate, miniaturization, and telogen rate here. So after the surgery, you will have a chance to see also all these statistics. I think this is very important because Keybot is giving us a histogram. This histogram is related with the caliber of the hair. And I'm trying to find out a correlation with the telogen rate and this histogram. I think this is important and will change something. I'm planning to present this for the first time in Istanbul workshop.